Hello again my friends, Bungie's latest weekly update finally reveals the launch date for Destiny's Crota Zen Raid Hard Mode, Wednesday January 21st 10am Pacific Standard Time. Now Crota Zen Hard Mode will be set at level 33 and will have a few new tricks to overcome. Here's what Bungie's community manager Deej had to say about this. Prepare to take better care of your teammates. You'll have fewer options for healing yourself and each other. The enemies you're about to face are stronger and more prone to temper tantrums. Be brave. So then, in short, hard mode is gonna be fucking hard. Fuck. So then, what sweet new loot is available for those who take on and defeat Crota on hard mode? Well, you'll now have a chance to earn primary raid weapons for taking down that angry green bastard. Let's have a look at them. First up, we have Abyss Defiance, a legendary auto rifle. Its description reads, we will not go quietly. It deals solar damage and has the following perks. Hip fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. Focused fire. When zoomed, this weapon fires slower but causes additional damage. And lynchbane. Projectiles have a chance to disorient hive wizards. Next up, we have Fang of Iryut, a legendary scout rifle. Its description reads, This is the shape and the point of the tooth. Nothing has ever lived that will not die. It deals arc damage and has the following perks. Spray and play. Increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty. Target mark. Enemies hit by this weapon are briefly highlighted. And third eye. Radar stays active while aiming down this weapon's sights. Next up, we have Oversoul Edict, a legendary pulse rifle. Its description reads, The light of the will of Crota shines down like a vast and inverse sum. It deals arc damage and has the following perks. Full auto. This weapon can be fired in full auto mode. And Dark Breaker. Projectiles will overpenetrate through Hive Knight's Wall of Darkness. And finally, we have Word of Crota, a legendary hand cannon. Its description reads, There was life, and he spoke unto it, and it was silent and lived no more. It deals void damage and has the following perks. Zen Moment, causing damage with this weapon, increases its stability. Explosive Rounds, volatile payload explodes on impact, dealing a portion of the weapon's damage in an area. And Phantom Gift, Rapidly landing three precision hits returns one round to the magazine. Now this perk has the potential to cause absolute carnage. Word of Crota is definitely the weapon I'm most looking forward to getting my hands on. And let's not forget that hard mode is the only place you can obtain the crux of Crota, an exotic upgrade material needed to transform Eidolon Ally, a legendary auto rifle, into Necrochasm, an exotic auto rifle. The crux of Crota will drop randomly after you defeat Crota. Now Necrochasm deals arc damage and has the following perks. Curse Bringer. Precision kills with this weapon frequently trigger a Curse Thrall explosion. And Range Finder. Aiming this weapon increases its effective range. Remember, all these primary weapons can reach the maximum 331 attack stat. And that's not all. You'll also be able to earn yourself Bane of the Dark Gods, a legendary ship, and Glowhu, a legendary armor shader. So then, on Tuesday, January 20th, Bungie will release the Hard Mode Raid Patch, and on Wednesday, January 21st, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Hard Mode will open for business. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, until next time, Guardians.